I have another question for you. Have any of you, or your petit enfant, eh? have you ever written a letter to my friend Santa Claus at the North Pole? Hmm? You, you big people, you can admit this too. Well, in France, if a child writes a letter to me, Père Noël, and puts a return address on the envelope, the French government pays the postage on my reply. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Canada too. So many letters. I would like to share with you one of my favorite. It come to me from a lovely little girl named Babette, who lives with her old uncle Louis and her brother Francois on a farm uh, near Le Bon in the mountains of Provence. And letters. They will give you a bit of the, the flavor of the holiday season. In France. Écoutez, euh, listen. Dear Père Noël, even though my big brother Francois says Christmas is for babies, I look forward to La Vie de Petit Jésus and a visit from you. Of course she does. <laughs> the watch night. Oh, the watch night. Uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, the, the watch night. The watch night is a magical evening when my family and I sit in front of the fire, sipping outside her, and Uncle Louis tells the story of the birth of the baby Jesus. Uh, she goes on to say that her brother teases her on birthdays. Oh, that Francois. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël. But for me, nothing surpasses the magic of the watch night. Or the fragile beauty of a child's face on Christmas morning. And uh, with Christmas still several days away, all can we secretly decorated the tree. Uh, Francois, a uh, Babette to set up the crash. Uh, you know this word? Crash? Uh, the nativity Ranger. scene. One of the most important symbols of Christmas to the French. Even though it was invented by an Italian. St. <laughs> <laughs> so Francis of Assisi! He's okay too! <laughs> now, you know the figures that go into the crash, yes? Mary and Joseph. The wise man, the little drummer boy, huh? Well, when the back on from Provence, the little statues were made for the nativity. Also include people from your village, the baker, the priest, little figures made out of clay called Santon, that mean little saints. And Babette's wish for Christmas last year where she would get yet another Santon into the nativity scene as if he too was going to worship the baby Jesus. It's a nice custom, no? Last year, I bet was finally old enough to go to midnight mass with Uncle Louis. Oh, that's very beautiful. As Uncle Louis carried a newborn lamb to the priest to symbolize the Lamb of God and then put it into a little cart for Babette to pull around the church for everyone to see the shepherds playing flutes and drums. Then, after the mass, they go home they are. The big supper. 
Who likes to read at Christmas time, huh? Who likes to read all the time, huh? <laughs> well, we French are not different. Last year, for the Gavillon, Papel G had roast goose, pate, le fromage. Oh, le fromage. It sounds very fancy, eh? It means cheese. For desserts, they are bushed in the well. A cake shaped like a yule log. In the first one, that's a Then, Papa, get the board, Lala. Get the board, Lala. My enfant? The last she does before she goes to bed is to set out her shoes for me to fill with treats and goodies. Last year, her bed was a little devilish. This is the shoe I find near the fireplace with her name on it. <laughs> if this is Babette's shoe, oh, she's a grand creator, a big food. Next morning, this is day, Babette, oh, Babette, she, she jumps out of bed, she rubs her eyes, she wakes up on Francois to go with her to see what I have put under the tray. But Francois, he takes his time. He does not believe in Christmas! He does not believe in Père Noël, remember? But when we should go to the tree, they discover an amazing scene. Turkish shows extraordinaire! Not one, but three, sometimes. Two more even than my little friend had reached. Only one is carved to look like her Uncle Louis. Another looks just like her brother, <coughs> doubting from Snora. Another just like sweet little Mamet Elsa. She concludes her letter. So you can see, I think Christmas is a very magical day. All I ever wish is a Christmas tree, Santo, and you, Père Noël, love, love it. It's very sweet, <coughs> no? And that, mes amis, that is a small taste of a French Christmas. Seen through the eyes of a delightful little child. Eh, a sneaky <coughs> one. <laughs> but a delightful one nonetheless. Eh? But do you know? Can you guess? I have just received a letter from. Can you guess who from? this morning. <laughs> so, I think he believes in the pair of well now. It's just a little bit. And what of you? Do you believe in pair of well? Yeah. Yeah, do you believe in Christmas? Yeah. Then say with me, Merry Christmas in the language of my country. It is Joyeux Noël. Un, deux, trois. Joyeux Noël. Très bien. Merci. It is music to Père Noël's ears. Et joyeux Noël, everyone. Ah bien, we have a few moments for the photograph. A quatre minutes. Uh, anyone wish a photograph of Edgar Pedro? Well, we make a linea, you see? 
Ella, Ella, big people can do these too.